walk to the camera this time. Where's my keys? Alright, we are at an Ethiopian place. I got some salad with really spicy dressing. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. This is called Sambusa though. It's all like ass backwards. It's like lentils, jalapenos, um, I like that though. Ooh, this is spicy. Yeah. They doesn't... should have milk on their menu. <laughs> it doesn't kick you in the teeth, but it's gonna be a gradual thing. Yeah. This is already better than my last Ethiopian experience. <laughs> yeah, these are good. It's spicy and it's hot, but it's not like overbearing. Lentil thing. The sambusa. Right, so this is just like a salad thing with a spicy lemon avocado dressing or something. No, I don't think so. Whew. Is it spicy, spicy? <laughs> I think I got a pretty good hit of it. Jalapeno. Deal this. That out of the way. And they don't have pepper on the pickles. Just salt shakers. Cut down a little bit on the spice. Is it better than the other stuff you've tried so far? As far as the Ethiopian food goes? Yeah. Quick question. Is it like a simple place or is one big place? Um, you want to put it all in one? That's the one big place. Yeah, one's fine. Great. And that's what they do. They don't give you like silverware. You use this little bread stuff and you rip it off and you pull up bites of your food that way. This is all really fresh stuff though. Mm. Oh, like sliced jalapenos, like it's not spicy enough. <laughs> but these were two of the things that was on the Everybody was saying try these, so that's why I got them. I'm eating that last one. Last one what? Yeah. <laughs> that one. I figured. But like I said, since I've been doing videos on stuff, I've been willing to like try new things that before I wouldn't do. Gotta keep it interesting, right? Well, that and just seeing like what's out there, you know? Huh. You gotta keep it interesting, right? Mm hmm. It doesn't matter whether it's for the video or for yourself. Yeah, that's true. 
I wish that had just a little less spice capsaicin in it because the flavor and the texture of that stuff is really, really good. Yeah. It is hot though. People are gonna be like, stop sniffing! I haven't had anybody say that yet. Wham! You go out and eat food that's made up of all jalapeno peppers. Right. And then this is a white African wine. It's a sweet, sweet wine. Guys up. Bear with me now. It's like a pancake. All the air bubbles for what, from where it was cooked on one side. Yeah. It doesn't look like it was flipped over and cooked. It's not. And then um, you just peel off pieces of that and you pick up your bites of food. Sorry guys, this is like all kind of weird. I got you set up all funny. I'm sorry, but trying something new that I have not tried before and I can't start into coming too so that's pretty delicious <laughs> spicy but good this one oh Careful because it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's like a cottage cheese mixed with a feta. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It's not that good by itself, so just mix it with a good sauce. Okay, yeah, you <laughs> gotta teach us it. how to eat it because we're not sure. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's fine with me. I love it. Okay, so. You can actually see the bone from the meat. Yeah, he said feta and ricotta. Cottage. Ricotta cheese. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. So you just rip off the piece? Right. And like a pick up the claw. Yep. Very good. Thank okay, you. thank you. Uh, Ooh. This is bland. It's but really it's mild. It's like a palate. It's like a palate cleanser, I think. Alright, so here's our little wiggly jiggly things here. Rip it. And we just get what we want and we eat it with our fingers. I'll try to keep you guys from seeing the other people because I don't like recording other people without them knowing. Okay, so 
so they're it's room temperature. It's not warm and it's not cold. I do one side until it gets bubbly, like Scott said. All right, I gotta taste the spicy. Tastes great. A little spicy. So that one, a very fine powder. That's spicy, but it's good. And this one's like their red sauce. Wow, that's weird. What's that? This one. But it's good. Some more water? Yeah, more water and uh, another one of these, please. Sure. I like it. Thanks, bud. You will. Thank you. All right. Mm, that's good. Yeah? That's not hot. That's what I got. This was yours. Yep. Is yours spicy or no? Uh, moderately so. Okay. It just tastes like flame. Like what, that's cooked mine? on oak. No, this yeah. is cooked on like open fire. Thanks. Oh, there it is. Really good, actually. <laughs> Thank you. He already knows it's good, though. weird and like almost gelatiny. Yeah, it's almost gelatinous, but it's like rubbery. And it ta if you eat it by itself, it has like a tang like vinegar. A little tang like vinegar and then that's about it. Like there's no bread, it's not a bread flavor or anything. So much for your small portions. Well, this would have been just like mine and like half of that. I'm gonna take this home. That's good. It's like a mix of like ketchup. Um, it's like a mix of ketchup, Old Bay, and something else that I can't quite put my finger on. Have you tried the salad? Uh huh. I like that dressing. That's how they get people to drink here. <laughs> Are diabolical. <laughs> diabolical. Okay, so I also make your food so good that people want to eat sure, it. Sure, yeah, I gotta check to make sure that there's no bone in what I'm picking up, though. Sauteed onions. Some of this cheesy stuff. Mine's all, all right. I like mine a little. Mine needs salt. You have it. I know. Mm -hmm. So how was your first experience with steak tartare? It's not bad. Now that you reminded me it's tartare, I don't know if I'll be able to eat it anymore. I'll try it. Hold on. I really like mine though. You should have tried. You, you should try like really real steak tartare, like steak tartare, the, the dish. 
It's really good. I remember the first time I had it, I was at a party with my dad. I was six, seven, okay. something like that. And it was so good, I kept eating it and eating it and eating it. And my dad finally like came over. Steak tartar. My dad finally came over and told me to stop eating it because he didn't like that I was eating raw meat in any quantity. I didn't get sick, but... Not that much of it, anyway? Well, I mean, I was sick, so, I mean, I can... Um, even if I'm eating it and eating it and eating it, there's only so much that I'm going to be really be able to eat. But he was worried for my health <laughs> once he realized it was raw meat, I guess. This stuff is weird, but it's good. It's much better. He said the other one that I was looking at was just basically sliced raw beef with dipping sauces. Mm. It's pretty good. I like this one the most. And the salad is really good. I can't really describe the dressing on it though. Definitely vinegar. It's such a strange sauce. I know. Like, I don't... This one? Yeah. Yeah. Not in a bad way, though. There's some bone. Oh. Give me a napkin. Oh. This is better than a lot of Indian food I've had. Mm-hmm. To me, a lot of Indian food is just so hot that it loses the flavor. It's so spicy. And the thing is, is that a lot of this is similar ingredients mm -hmm. to what I've seen. And I've had a pretty decent amount of Indian food. I had a, a friend when I was younger named Vikas that, you know, his, his mom was, his mom and dad were fresh off the boat, Indian. And she would make some goddamn good food, but... There was only a few things that really, like, stood up. They use a lot of yogurt in their cooking. Mm -hmm. And it's not, like, sweet, yummy, tasty snack yogurt that you eat. It's this plain, plain yogurt. yogurt. And they don't spice it a whole lot, so it's just plain yogurt. And it's not... Not really my, my, my bag. This is great. Good. It's really this good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I like the salad. <coughs> it's 
like a vinegar, like a vinaigrette. I wonder how this is, if it's cooked. Mm -hmm. They said that they'll prepare it cooked for you. Oh. I wanted to try it how they eat it. They probably just heat it up. Oh, I mean, I'm not going to be able to eat all of this. You're going to have to take it. He's take talking it about the tartare. Kind of tartare. It's really mild, too. I was expecting it to be spicy because the... Because um, it's red? No, that's just the blood. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the thing said it was spicy. This? Yeah, the, the menu. The menu said it was spicy. It's not spicy? No, it's not. Not compared to... This salad was spicier than that. Yeah, not compared to that, that green stuff. <clears throat> this dressing here is really spicy. But it's really good. It's good, but it's spicy. Get good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your hand just went over the camera. It's okay though. Well, oh, see, I'm trying to use my fork for everything. For not having eaten since I woke up, that was a lot of food. There's still a whole bunch here. I'm gonna pick you guys up. You guys know me, I'll eat until I'm full and then I stop. Like, I don't make myself sick for you guys, but there's still up, 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 quite a bit up. of the salad. I'm showing them the salad and everything, oh, okay. too. There you go. And then all of that. Ugh. And this salad is really good, and this beef stuff is really good. We d see, for this not having much taste at all, we ate a lot of it, though. It's like a good little palate cleanser mixer. Actually, it is because, you know, it's milk and milk. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, it's milk fat curd, but... Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. You're the MacGyver of the mukbang world. Yes, I am. <laughs> Didn't even bring your tripod and you're using Didn't bring my tripod. Still. Still eating. <sighs> See, but if you didn't come in with me, I probably would have ordered it to go and like ate it in the car. See, but you just like pinch up what you want and shove it in your mouth. <laughs> it's good though. Scott was afraid to come. He was like, I well, only had a bad had, experience. The last time I had food. Ethiopian food, I cooked two dishes and they were terrible. And that was it was not because of my cooking. Maybe it was a bad recipe. I don't know. Get the check. Appreciate it, bud. We need boxes too. Well, yeah. Sorry for all the shaking. Yeah, Scott doesn't know how to be still. Nope. <laughs> I'm an ox. Hey, big zoo. Man, that. We that also was need a box. Really good. <laughs> I'm really taking this filling. home. <laughs> yeah, that was, it was really, really good. filling. I mean, I was not expecting that. It fills it up quick. And that is true. It's the bread. It's the wheat and teff. It's not even the food, it's just the bread itself. It's that really? bread? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it filled me up <laughs> quick. It's delicious. It's good. Tef, which is a kind of grain that's only in Ethiopia, is what the thing on the menu said. Well, that actually doesn't so surprise me. So this fills me. you up. 
because they need to eat, but they need to have something filling. Well, a lot of Africa is... Arid wasteland? No, I wouldn't describe it that, but a lot of it's desert, and a lot of it mm -hmm. is not, a lot of it's not great for farming. And so this they, is found, good, but it's they weird. found a really good grain to help them yeah. stretch their nutrition, but never be, well, not never, but very rarely go, like, uncomfortably hungry for days. Yeah. The land provides. Yeah. And our server was really good, too. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our server was really good. He explained to us how we eat it and what everything was. That was really good. Now I'll take it home and see if the family want to eat some of it. I'm sure Logan will tear up this beef ribeye stuff. That stuff is delicious. Keep it somewhat separate here. And Lucy brought me a spoon to like put it in the box here. Okay. And end this video here because people are starting to come in now for dinner. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a member of my family because we'd love to have you. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>